To demonstrate test-driven development in action, here on the right, I'm going to declare this empty greet function. And on the left, I'm going to start writing my test before I implement any of the functionality in the greet function. So I'll say that the greet function should greet the world by default. And then in my test, I'll execute the greet function and then assert that it returns a string hello world. Then I run my test and see that it fails. We're saying that instead of hello world, I get undefined, which makes sense. So now that I have failing test, the next step is to make it pass. And the easiest way to do it is to have the function to return hello world, just like this. And now the test is passing. Now to take one step further, I'm going to copy this existing test and repurpose it to test that the function should greet by name. And then I'll pass the parameter Eric to function, which is my name. And then I'll expect in the assertion that it should greet me by name. And when I run the test, I see that it is failing because it's saying hello world instead of hello Eric. So again, the next step is to make that test pass. And one note here is that that's why I like test-driven development is that it gives you the clear focus of what you need to write next and with very specific requirements so that it allows you to write very little extra code and only the code that you absolutely need to make the test pass. So here to make this test pass, I'm going to look into the name parameter passed in the function and if it is there then i'm going to return a string that greets that name and now the test passes all right and now comes one of my favorite parts of test driven development is that i can refactor my implementation and still have the test pass to make sure that i didn't break anything so here i see that I can simplify this a bit and then assign the name whatever comes from the argument and if it is undefined then just fall back to world and then modify the return string to include the name just like that and then I can rerun the test and see that everything is passing and that's test-driven development in its simplest form.